There's a reason why exotic pastries play such a wildly significant role in Wes Anderson's new film, The Grand Budapest Hotel. The entire movie is like a giant and elaborately decorated cake created by this most exacting of film craftsmen. And how tasty it is. Who's this interesting old fellow? Don't you recognize him? May I invite you to dine with me tonight? And it will be my pleasure to tell you my story. Eight features into a career of clockwork whimsy, the Texas writer-director has crafted his masterwork, an early candidate for 2014's best film. Anderson's resplendent retreat sits amongst the central European mountains of the Republic of Zabrowka, a place you won't find via Google Earth. Through these doors pass many familiar faces, beloved players like Bill Murray, Owen Wilson, Jason Schwartzman, and Tilda Swinton, variously seen from Bottle Rocket through Moonrise Kingdom, Anderson's previous films. But the most delightful of them is new to Anderson's antics, Rafe Fiennes. He's Monsieur Gustave H., the concierge of the Grand Budapest, a man of fastidious manner and reckless charm. Gustave believes in serving his wealthy female clientele in the lobby and pleasuring them in the bedroom, their age and decrepitude being no obstacle to swinging. His favorite guest is an octogenarian played by Tilda Swinton, who positively adores him, and who wouldn't? but who fears unspecified calumny as she prepares to return home to her grasping adult son, played by Adrian Brody. Her fears will soon be realized as murder most foul occurs, and Gustav is falsely accused of it. The year is 1932, notably in between world wars at the dawn of German fascism. Darkness is descending upon all of Europe, evident in the growing number of rude men in uniforms bearing ominous Nazi-like symbols who have no patience for the civility that Monsieur Gustav offers. The barbarians are indeed at the gates, but Gustave has been too busy to notice. Now he has to clear his good name as Anderson wheels us through a madcap tribute to cinema past that includes genre hat tips to screwball comedy, prison caper, warm romance, road movie, and more, all of them sparking like synapses in a very big brain. The impeccable production design has always been there, but you can sense a maturing of storytelling that began with Moonrise Kingdom, Anderson's 2012 reverie of childhood freedoms. When Gustav H. laments the slide of civility, he speaks across the decades. There's a lot going on, but everything comes marvelously to fruition with the Grand Budapest Hotel, the grandest of treats from Wes Anderson. I'm Peter Howell for the Star.com. See you at the movies.